that is uh, one of the markets that uh, it would be the easiest thing for right now. And so I'm really honored to be one of the people that will be supporting this organization and really growing and giving them the opportunity to grow the business and to be able to take it into different languages. And so we are in the process of developing that because having this work in other languages besides the English language, it is so, so important. So it's like a vertical market. And um, our programs at the Accelerated Business Schools was a program that was created about 40 plus years ago by some entrepreneurs that transformed the city of San Francisco. How many of you have been to San Francisco? Just, okay, do you remember the big Victorian houses? Did you go up in the hills with the big, beautiful mansions? Do you remember that? San Francisco is known for that, or you see the movies. Well, none of that would have been there if it hadn't been for my mentors and the people who created the work that I actually inherited. And that they were the ones who had the idea, or one particular man, Marshall Thurber, had the idea to renovate those houses and to be able to um, build them up in a way that it was going to um, be profitable and also save them and save the city. And so if it hadn't been for him and his team, San Francisco would look completely different. It would have all these modern buildings as opposed to the beautiful Victorians. And basically they created the organization using generalized principles that were taught by different masters, including uh, by Mr. Fuller. And then they were so profitable they were using all of these tools and getting aligned and working in a way so that they could have the opportunity to be able to really add value to humanity. And so um, that is what uh, I attended the first business school 40 years ago, and I fell in love with the work, went to work with them, volunteer, became a partner, and then within a few years, I inherited the work and have been growing it ever since. And so for me, uh, growing a business is one of the most interesting things. For me, it's completely entertaining. It's like, what else would you be doing? Even though I love Hawaii, and I love going to the beach with my sweetie to Hawaii, in Hawaii, I, I can only handle about three or four days of that. <laughs> After that, I wanna go back and play with business. And, um, and so I have actually retired three times in my lifetime. I'm trying to tell new stories for you so that you don't get bored. Uh, have you been introduced? Uh, it's a okay. You have been introduced? Well, we haven't spoken. Oh, you haven't spoken yet? Oh, I'll behave. I'll talk real quick. <laughs> but basically, this is uh, Serge Gravel, one of our instructors on our business school. And then, of course, uh, Laurent is from France and lives the uh, last 12 years in Australia. And then, he has had the opportunity to just attend our program, but he's part of our instructor's training program and other things. And so he has been spending plenty of time around us. So every time I get around people that have been with me for a while, including you, Aziza, I try to bring you stories. <laughs> but uh, where was I? What was I talking about? I forgot now. <laughs> we were talking about San Francisco and uh, the training and, the, and the, the principles that we teach. And, um, as, and, and being in business is probably the way, the way to really make the world work for 100% of humanity. So do we have my card, my yeah. little pink card? I want to give them the white side of my card. And I wanted to share with you a question mark that we have by, um, by our teacher, by Mr. Fuller. And it is how do we make the world work for 100% of humanity in the shortest possible time? without any um, ecological offense or the disadvantage of anyone. Is that one, but we give them the white side. Yeah, if you can give that to them first, the white side, yes. And I'd like for you to have it and copy it because our whole work is about creating product and services that answers that question. So for those